Welcome to the channel. My name is Alicio, business owner, entrepreneur, and more. Today, we wanted to talk about a very controversial question that is in YouTube, internet. I wanted to share the content to clarify the hotshot trucking without a CDL. All information will be based on official documentation from websites on idaho.gov and the links will be below. So let's get started. To start off, we need to identify a couple key terms that will help us identify the correct equipment that would be needed in order to not have a CDL, commercial driver's license. Starting with gross vehicle weight rating, GVWR. The GVWR is the manufacturer's assigned weight rating for the vehicle, truck, bus, or trailer, not the vehicle's registered weight on trucks. The GBWR is usually found on a laminated paper identification sticker inside the driver's door. On trailers, it may be found anywhere, but it is commonly found on the front of the trailer on the driver's side. For Idaho, in the absence of a GBWR, the actual weight of the vehicle plus its heaviest load is considered to be the GBWR. Other states may use other identification, but the biggest important part on gross vehicle weight rating is that it is not the vehicle's registered weight. It is the manufacturer's assigned weight rating for the specific vehicle or trailer. The next key term is the gross combined weight rating, GCWR. The gross combined weight rating, the GCWR, is the total weight of the gross vehicle weight rating, GBWR, of each unit of a combination vehicle, truck, tractor, and trailer added together meaning your truck's gross vehicle weight rating plus the trailer you're pulling gross vehicle weight rating should be the gross combined weight rating. This chart is found in the Idaho manual it determines the class of cdl required depending on your equipment as we previously discussed the gross combination weight rating is the gross vehicle weight rating of your truck and trailer together so on the upper right, upper left corner, it says is the gross combination weight rating 26,001 or more pounds. If your truck and trailer have a GVWR of more than 26,000 pounds, then you click yes. Then is the gross vehicle weight rating of the trailer towed unit 10,001 or more pounds? If it is yes, then you need a Class A license. If no, you go down. But 
for a non-CDL, you can go that way or the other way. So is the gross combination weight rating 26,001 pounds or more for a non-CDL, you want to make sure your equipment is not higher than 26,001 on your placards, on your laminates, from the manufacturer on your truck and trailer. Next is the GVWR, gross vehicle weight rating of the power unit, 2016,001 or more pounds. Your truck, your power unit, or your tractor, its gross vehicle weight rating, is it higher than 26,001? If yes, you'll need a class B. If no, you scroll down. Is the vehicle transporting hazardous material in a placardable quantity? Yes or no? Normally, no. But you can, you would need a class C if that is the case. Down the line on the same chart, as you answer no, is the vehicle designed to transport 16 or more passengers, including the driver? No, so no CDL required, as this chart may determine. So just to recap, gross combination weight rating means the value specified by the manufacturer of the power unit. If the value is displayed on the Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standard Certification Label or the sum of the gross vehicle weight ratings of the power unit and towed unit or any combination thereof that produces the highest value. Gross vehicle weight rating means the value specified by the manufacturer as loaded weight of a single vehicle. Very important. Again, this is the determining class of CDL requirements in order for you to be in compliance with the CDL requirements. Next, I have some examples of where you can find the gross vehicle weight rating of certain trucks on the market and trailers that will give you the gross vehicle weight rating needed in order to be a non-CDL driver. On this chart from the Ford Super Duty manual, link will be below, we have the gross vehicle weight rating for all the type of trucks that they have. If you look at the upper left corner, F250SRW 4x2, gross vehicle weight rating, 9,910,000 pounds, and so on. You have the F250 SRW 4x4, 10,000 pounds, GBWR, or the F350 4x2, 10,000 and above. This is a option that you're able to look at when you're shopping for a truck online, on their website, or you can find the gross vehicle weight rating on the side of the trucks if you're physically going to the dealership finding out the best truck out there. This chart is a 
discontinued part from the Ford. These trucks are stronger. On the upper left corner, we have the F350 SRW 4x4, 9900 GBWR and above. And we also have the F350 DRW 4x2, starting at 13,000 pounds GBWR. All these numbers are very important because on the previous slides we saw our gross combination weight rating cannot exceed 26,000 and one pound from the truck and your trailer. These are examples of the gross vehicle WR that you will encounter. For instance, if you were to get the F350 SRW 4x4 with the GBWR of 10,000 pounds, that gives you a buffer on the trailer being 16,000 pounds gross vehicle weight rating, which is lower than 26,001 pounds, which gives you the opportunity to run a truck and trailer with a non-CDL. Next, I will show you two options that two main manufacturers provide to businesses their GVWR gross vehicle weight rating, their lengths, their trailer payload. For example, this big tax, we have a standard size of 28 feet plus five of a dovetail, dovetail with its gross vehicle weight rating of 15,900. That is one of their basic single wheel tandem axle gooseneck trailer. They have the 4GN from Big Tex Trailers and it's their medium duty single wheeled gooseneck. Um, it combines many of unique Big Tex features, low profile decks, LED lights, treated floor, dual jacks, and adjustable coupler, coupler, providing a professional grade trailer that delivers for an exceptional value. This is the big tax offer. They do have some customized trailers that will have a gross vehicle weight rating of less than 16,000 pounds but you would have to contact them directly. I do have the link below so you can get some more information on the big texts. Again, if you were to go with the Ford F350 with the gross vehicle weight rating of 10,000 pounds, you would be able to get the 28 plus five Gooseneck Big Tex single axle trailer. The next option we have here is the PJ trailer single axle deck level with monster ramps. Good option. Let's take a look at the details here on the next slide. The deck width on this trailer could potentially be at 102. They have lengths from 20 to 40 feet. Their gross vehicle weight rating ranges from 15,680 to 24,000 pounds. Their deck height, 33, I believe, inches. 
they do have the bumper pull, gooseneck or pintle, and their load capacity goes from 11,120 to 17,240 pounds. They are spring 7,000 Dexter. They have the straight deck, dovetail, and power tail. But the most important part is the gross vehicle weight rating. The higher the gross vehicle weight rating, the lower your truck tractor will need to be on the gross vehicle rating because you cannot exceed 26,001 pounds on your gross vehicle weight rating. In conclusion, hot shot trucking without CDL, yes, 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 it is possible. You want to make sure that the gross combined weight rating does not exceed 26,001 pounds on labels of truck and trailer because the gross vehicle weight rating of your truck and your trailer cannot exceed the 26,000 pounds. Again, here with Life Choices, like, subscribe, comment.